Okay, so just going to do a little tour of the LCD display system. Uh, it was designed over on the uh, Eco Otter Forum as a complement to the controller. So, as we can see here, uh, we have a large format uh, 16 by 2 character backlit LCD and the control card with all the electronics on it is literally just bolted onto the back of it and uh, as we can see it's quite a compact and very well laid out board it's all true hole and all of the uh, connections are done by means of screw terminals here which is quite a good feature now I have done a few uh, changes to the hardware and software to better suit my own setup but the main processor here is an 18 series pick uh, get camera to focus, I think it's an 18F12 18F 2480 I think is the part and uh, it has facilities here which I'm going to go through now so as you can see this is the first screen um, and on this display here the first thing that it's telling us is A volt which is the accessory battery voltage in this case it's been fed from a power supply here it's over in the corner and it's actually giving me a more accurate uh, display than what the power supply is telling me here because it is actually closer to um, 12.7 than it is to 12.2 I think the actual voltage is about 12.65 or something so that's uh, certainly close enough uh, the center column then is telling me the state of charge of the main traction battery and on the right hand side MTE is, is uh, miles to empty that's effectively how far the car can travel based upon a rolling um, calculation of state of charge and distance traveled so the next screen then, now we change screens just by these little push buttons here runs us through to the temperature screen and on the left it is the um, motor temperature center is controller and on the right is uh, battery temperature now the motor temp and battery temp are basically detected by these two little um, NTCs here so if I just give one of them a little squeeze and see the temperature on the battery start to go up if I squeeze the other one there's the motor temperature now it gets the controller temperature by serial ink to the control board and I've just got a little again NTC set up there just because this is my kind of testing uh, control board here so I'm just going to go ahead and give that guy a little squeeze over here okay and there's our controller heatsink temperature starting to, to go up okay so that's our temperature screen and onwards from that we have our um, traction pack voltage which is on the left and, and again I'm just actually simulating that from a power supply here and the highest I can go with that is 32 volts but this will actually I think go up to slightly over 200 volt um, battery and the center column tells us the motor amps and the right hand side is battery amps now one of the changes I made to the hardware here was to 
uh, and oh, sorry, hardware and software was to get it to talk to a M Haas type uh, current sensor. It's a Haas 300S because the original um, specification was for a Tam Ura Hall sensor that I just simply couldn't get my hands on. So basically just to give a little demo and while I was testing this was that I have a 12 volt gel battery here, a little 7 amp hour gel battery. I've just got a loop here going through both the sensor from the control board and the sensor that is hooked into the um, LCD. I've just got a 1 ohm resistor here and I just temporarily short across the battery terminals with that and I get about somewhere between 10 to 2, 12 amps it just basically proves that my sensors are, are functioning as they should so I'll just focus on the screen here I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to put the resistor across the battery and we should hopefully see uh, some current flow there we go I can't keep it on there for too long or it just over overheats the thing but that's good enough so that's our um, traction voltage mm, motor current and battery current now just to go back to the main screen again here one of the very cool features of this design uh, is that there are there's a terminal here, I think it's one of these two, I'm not sure which one, but that's on the circuit. Uh, that will drive a standard um, mechanical fuel gauge as found in a car. There's a little trim pot up here to adjust the, uh, I think it's that farthest trim pot there, adjusts the, uh, the what is it, the zero point or whatever you want to call it and there's also software parameters that can be changed um, to just to tune it to the particular fuel gauge that's in whatever car that you may have and that you may have to uh, set up for so uh, that's a very good feature on it got a few LEDs here that can be programmed to come on under various conditions uh, low state of charge uh, low voltage uh, certain things like that I haven't gone through all the features of this as he uh, as he had and there's an alarm output again on that, uh, that terminal block there there's CAN bus um, hardware on the board as well and finally uh, we have obviously got some serial RS232 comms to interface to the controller so overall it's a very smart piece of uh, hardware and software and um, have to say very well done to demand that uh, that uh, designed this and made it freely available so I'll post a link to the uh, thread over on the eco other forum for this so folks should hopefully be able to see it uh, it's quite cheap to build um, I doubt if there was uh, oh there wouldn't be a hundred euros in it anyway even in, including the PCBs and various other little pieces of 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 uh, kind of hardware. Some of the components are a little bit tricky to get your hands on, but um, nothing crazy. And I did actually design out one particular uh, troublesome thing here, which was that the voltage sensing circuit. Uh, it uses precision re resistors uh, we can see in here or not but what I did was I simply changed one of them 
uh, to being a 10 turn trim pot hopefully you see the white box in, in there that's the little trim pot that I swapped out which is this little guy here little white box here that's our trim pot you can basically then come along and adjust uh, the little screw on it here to set your pack voltage so that it's accurate and this means that you can put a cheaper 5% uh, fixed resistor in here to form the other part of the voltage uh, sensing circuit so that's it and uh, I'm hopefully going to fit this to the car fairly soon and start playing with it and get it set up and uh, it will also it can be programmed quite easily via the pick assembler which is again freely available and uh, also hopefully has a few I have a few ideas for this in terms of a little supervisor circuit for the charger with the alarm output and that so I'll see what I can make happen oh, hit that so yeah it's just a little brief um, um, introduction to this uh, system so we'll see how it plays out in the car okay that's it for now